Gino Gallagher was shot dead in a social security office off the Falls Road. He was sitting in a booth talking to a woman official when a man who'd been sitting with other members of the public got up and shot him several times at point-blank range. A senior police officer described the killing as utterly disgraceful. He came in, uh, he went up to one of the booths and a gunman got up behind him and shot him at point-blank range a number of times. The gunman then coolly walked through the public area and out onto the Falls Road here. It's believed the gunman was disguised in a hat, a wig with a ponytail and glasses. Gino Gallagher was in his 30s and was recognised by the police as the so-called chief of staff of the INLA. He was also the national organiser of their political wing, the Irish Republican Socialist Party. Several years ago, he survived an attempt on his life by loyalists. Several social security staff who witnessed the shooting were taken to hospital where they were treated for shock. The office is to remain closed for the rest of the week. The police have said it would be premature to speculate about the possible consequences of the shooting. But there are very real fears in West Belfast that another feud within the Republican movement is about to begin.